Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a love reading. We're going to focus on love. So we're going to start with Taurus. We're going to start with Taurus because we all know why we're going to start. Well, we don't all know, but I'm about to tell you I am Taurus. I'm Taurus of Gemini. Okay, um, I'm a 29 degree Taurus, so I'm, I am, and I have uh, four planets in Gemini, so I'm a Gemini stellium. So I'm Taurus Gemini. So we're going to start with Taurus and then we'll, we'll probably do Gemini next. That's just the way it goes. So um, what do we got for love for Taurus? What do we got for love? Now, typically these love readings, I feel, are for singles. But does it have to be? You take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for January. At any point in January. Here it is. Ooh, four of coins. Now the four of coins is about stability. It's holding on. There could be some sort of obsession. Somebody could be obsessed with you. You could be obsessed with somebody. Maybe you're not focused on love. Maybe you're focused on your job. You're focused on your money. You're not looking for love. Maybe you're in hiding right now. Maybe you're you're just not putting yourself out there. Let's see what we got here. This is focused on stability. You know, holding on to stability. Holding on to your own. Yeah. yeah. So it feels like we have somebody here that is really not putting any effort into finding love or opening up. You know, we're not wanting to open up too much. Kind of, you might like your being alone, you know. It's all about your holding on to your money right now, about making money. <laughs> you know, maybe you're just not interested. Maybe you're, you're, you're making your life stable. That's what your focus is, stability. What do we have for Taurus? One card, please. Oh, this is this is uh, ruled by Taurus, the the throat chakra. Okay, this is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, which is the throat ch chakra, and the throat is ruled by Taurus. So this is interesting. This is communication. I speak. So you may be speaking or you may be communicating. Maybe you're into public speaking. Maybe you will be public publicly speaking this month. I know we're talking about love, but this is also communication. So you may be communicating with somebody, but you're not quite giving yourself away. Or you may be receiving communication. It's a very important to communicate if you want to have a successful relationship. Communication is key. So. That is, I speak. I speak. So you will be speaking. You may be, you're probably going to be speaking with somebody. Okay? Maybe you're just communicating right now. And you're not really interested in going any further than that. We'll find out. What do we got for Taurus? January. Ooh, the fool reverse. Now, this is probably fearful, right? Un not wanting to take any risks. You know, maybe you've been taken advantage of in the past. You've made some reckless, foolish decisions, and you don't want to do it again? Yeah, that's probably the case. Huh. Um, definitely fearful, and that's why you're missing opportunities, right? You're missing opportunities for love because you're fearful. You could have some unfinished business with somebody, you know, and that's why, you know, you, you just didn't get the adequate closure that you thought you were going to get or something like that. This is definitely fear. No faith. You know, you don't want to jump into something just to fall down again, right? Who does? Not me. Ooh, see, not really focused on a relationship because of fear, Right? Or somebody is may have foolishly gotten themselves into a relationship where they're not compatible. This is relationship problems. So there's relationship problems here. If you are coupled, your relationship may be on the rocks. If you are single, you're probably not. You're too fearful to, to get involved with anybody because of the last one. The chariot reversed. The chariot reversed is some sort of emotional outburst, unable to uh, master your emotions or whoever you're dealing with. If you are in a coupled relationship, you could be dealing with somebody who uses emotional blackmail against you. 
if you are in a coupled relationship. This is lack of control, lack of discipline. There's emotions that are all over the place. This is upcoming disaster ahead. So if you're in a coupled relationship, I'm not trying to scare you, but something could be coming to a halt. Something could be coming to a dead stop because this relationship is rocky. Somebody's acted foolishly or they're they're being taken advantage of. They're, they may be acting recklessly because this is reckless and this is reckless. There could be an accident. I'm just saying, I hate to say that to Taurus, but for some of you, you're just not, you know, the, if you're single, you're not in the emotional uh, state to jump into any kind of relationship right now. You're not. It's like you're not, you're not, you're not looking for it right now. You may be out socializing though. Maybe you're, maybe for, if you are in a coupled relationship, you could be in a third party situation and maybe you don't know it. I mean, this is a third party situation. If you are single, this is socializing. This could be on social media. This could be on a dating site. This is talking with people. This is out with your friends, having fun, you know, just socializing, which is communication right now. Okay, so you may be out communicating, having fun, you know, doing your thing, but you haven't found anybody that is compatible yet. You're not really in any kind of hurry. You're just, you know, too fearful to jump, to take any leaps. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel like you are in a relationship that is, there's another person, there's a third party, um, which is, is stopping this from being successful. There's a lack of success. There's a lack of victory because there's somebody else. And you may be staying in it because it's stable, right? It's stable because I see stability here. So for if you are a couple, you're, you're in it because it's stable. If you are single, you're stable. You're holding on to your stability. And you don't want to be foolish and make any foolish decisions. But I feel there's definitely a third party situation here for those of you that are in a relationship now. Okay. Um, let me just get some more cards. Page of Wands here. Somebody is going to receive a message, an exciting message. This is good news but for, from somebody that is very well suited for them. Whether this is, you know, whether you're coupled or singles, there is somebody here that is a little bit younger, that is very well suited, that is uh, very excited about starting something. You know, they're excited about this. They want to move forward. They're going to make an offer or they're going to send an invite that may be too good to pass up. They may invite you out on a date. They may invite you out for drinks. You might meet them on the internet as well. Um, you could meet them at work through, through your job. Somebody may have met a person through their job. You know, they were working away and they were put on a project together and there's some sort of attraction. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, seven, somebody's going to get caught. If you are in a coupled relationship and there has been some sort of uh, third party situation and somebody thought they were getting away from it, getting away with it, they're not going to get away with it. Okay, they're going to get caught. The cheating is going to come out. This is getting caught cheating. If you are single, you maybe you dealt with somebody that was a cheater and that's why you're so fearful. You know, you're scared to work together with anybody. But I do feel like you are going to come across somebody that or you or your partner or if you're single, there's a person here that is going to come across with somebody that is younger. There's a little bit of an age difference that's, that they are very, very, very attracted to and it's going to be hard to pass up. It is going to be very hard to pass up. Um, this is January. I think that there's going to be some sort of emotional connection. There's going to be maybe even a spiritual connection that, that, uh, causes somebody to uh, accept the offer. I think they're going to accept the offer or they have already accepted the offer. Um, King of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is cold and uncaring and doesn't care who they hurt. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that is looking, just looking for sex. I'm just saying, and you know, you could, 
you could look at be looking you know just looking for some sort of excitement emotional you know maybe they're looking for an ego boost as well you know maybe they're there's they're on some sort of rebound you know and they're just looking for you know they don't care who they hurt they're in it for one thing and one thing only and so just saying anyhow Taurus I feel as though you're gonna you are going to have a chance to uh have some fun right here this is have some fun with somebody um or your partner is there is a third party situation here if you are coupled if you are a couple, there is. It's like there's a. It's like somebody has either met somebody through their job, or they've met somebody on social media, and 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 they're, you know, taking a risk, acting recklessly. So somebody's gonna get caught if there has been some cheating that it may be revealed. Okay, um, if if you are completely single, uh, it feels like you're not really focused on a relationship. You don't want to, you don't want to make any stupid decisions. You may be talking to somebody though, or somebody may start talking to you. This person is a little bit younger, but it could be older. It could be, but it feels like it's younger. This is, or it could be, could be right around the same age as well. This person, but you got to be careful because this person that is talking to you, this person that is communicating may already be in a relationship. And they just want to, they're going to cheat, you know, there's some sort of cheating here or lying. So you definitely need to be careful, whether it's you or whoever you're dealing with. There is somebody isn't telling the truth and they think they're getting away with it. But it feels like somebody is going to speak up and they're, the truth is going to get revealed. Okay, so I do feel like that is the case. Something to do with work as well. Um working together so these people may work together and that's how you know they they decide to hook up you got to be careful because i feel like somebody is in a relationship and it's it's not going to end well it's not going to end in any kind of successful partnership okay it's not um so i think that you're going to receive some sort of communication from somebody that is exciting it's, uh, this person isn't, um, looking for anything long term. It looks like they're looking for some sort of, uh, you know, ego boost and that's about it. Doesn't lead to wish fulfillment and some, this is dissatisfaction, not happy, didn't get, uh, what you thought you were going to get. So, I mean, this could be friends with benefits. That's what I think it is. Somebody is dealing with a third party situation that is involving just friends with benefits. That is what I see. Good luck.